are you effectively using your chat box with your online presentations? When I ask this question in webinars, people immediately respond, well, yes, we're using our chat box. And I remind them, there's an important word in there. Are you effectively using your chat box? What I find is most people aren't. There are three effective ways to use your chat box that will give you and your audience much more benefit from the presentation. The number one reason is obvious. It creates engagement. You can answer or ask questions. Your audience can answer those. You can encourage your audience to have side conversations. Maybe one will, uh, will spur the other to create some more thought on a specific topic. They'll create their own questions. Well, more importantly, they'll answer questions. And I'll touch on that in point two in just a second. But engagement is important. It keeps people active. They're typing, they're looking at one another, they're reading. It's a change of pace within a change of pace, if you will. The second benefit to the chat box is it enables your participants to answer questions. Why is that important? One of the best insights I ever got to training came from my friend Ed Tate. I've mentioned him in a previous video. Ed taught me that the answer is always in the room, even if you don't have it. What does that mean? It means that if you're dealing with a, a team of experts, let's say I'm talking to a group of medical professionals about presentation skills. One of the members may have a question about a medical procedure. Well, I don't have the answer to that. I'm not a doctor. My initials are MD, but that's as far as I go for qualifying. They will have the answer but only if I let them have that conversation. The chat box allows that. So encourage them to answer each other's questions. Don't you know, put your ego aside, let them participate. Audiences love it when you let them look good. The third benefit is the most important for your long-term success as a presenter. It's feedback about your topic. So often we presenters think we know what audiences want to hear. We have our own biases about what points are most important, what stories are the best. But if you ask them in the chat box, you know, what are your keepers? What are your action items? They'll often give you responses you didn't expect. That's valuable feedback if you're willing to listen to it and act on it. In the box below this video, please let me know some other benefits that you've gained from the chat box. It's a terrific way to create engagement and change the pace. I look forward to seeing you in tip number eight. If you like the information in this tip, you will love the report we just created. It's called Stop Zoom Burnout Now. It contains dozens of tips, insights, and ideas on how to keep your virtual presentations fresh and to keep you, the presenter, and your audience from suffering from all the Zoom fatigue and burnout that we hear about these days. There's no cost or obligation to this report. Simply click on the link below, it'll take you to a sign up page and then you can download the report. Hope you enjoy it and hope to see you online soon.